Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Spring marks 35, New Zealand 7. A 28-point victory for the box. What a game. What a performance. What a night, really, as a box fan. And just absolutely speechless almost at just how good that was. Um, I mean, we came into this game, I think a lot of people sort of expecting a close game, but but basically saying we just don't want to lose by too much. We kind of just want to have a good performance. I don't think anybody anticipated us scoring five tries, winning by 28 points. The biggest victory, by the way, ever over New Zealand for the box. What a game that was. Over at Twickenham. And wow, what a stream we also had on the watch along. Thank you very much, everybody who did join us. Before I do break the game down a little bit, look at some of the stats, see where it was really won, and look at some of the, the individual performances. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, so it was a pretty poor start for New Zealand, a great start from South Africa, where we basically just camped out in uh, in the Springbok 22. And uh, Scott Barrett got a yellow card in 13, 13 minutes for con his continuous infringements, and um, before Sam Kane got a yellow card in the, in the 15 minutes. It did take us go or take New Zealand going down to to 30 men before uh, South Africa eventually managed to score a try. I think there was a bit of a concern the fact that we were kind of parking ourselves there the entire time but couldn't find the way to actually get that final product and uh, that, 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 that find that score. We eventually came in the 17th minute through uh, Sia Khaleesi, uh, who looked once again really good. Mind you about adding the extras. Richie Mohanga then added a penalty immediately off that kickoff to try and uh, reduce the deficit to four points. He actually missed that. Uh, Kurt Lawrence then intercept try in the 33rd minute and uh, Moyne Ebok adding the extra before Scott Barrett was sent his well was given a second yellow card of the day and uh, his marching orders with a red card in the 39th minute the All Blacks then having a try chalked off for a knock on in the uh, build up which meant that the Springboks got through to half time at 14-0 and 14-0 you know you've got you've got one hand on the game you're thinking right we've got to start well we're going to try to assert ourselves make sure that we don't start badly get ourselves into a good position 41 minutes, Malcolm Marks try. Bang. Right into the corner over there. Go short. See if he breaks with the top. Pops to Malcolm Marks. Too much power. Then we've got the brilliant conversion. And then, for the first time ever in history, a 7-1 split was deployed. Seven forwards were put on by the box at the same time. 46th minute. Arches Neyman, Jean Klein, Trevor Nyukane, Bongi Manambi, Oxenchek, Quaker Smith, Marco Van Staden all came onto the park. Seven forwards. And that was just tickets for the All Blacks. Pierce left the toy, got yellow card. It actually didn't make a difference in the end. Bongi Manambi actually went over for a more try. Leave off with another good conversion. Quaka Smith then came on. He was brilliant when he came on. 67 minute try. Moyne Leave with the conversion. Cam Waycott scored the only try for New Zealand. A great counter tracking individual effort from him, to be fair to him, uh, to make the final score 35 points to 7. Ironically, overall, New Zealand actually had more possession eventually. Um, in the second half, they, they, they dominated possession, but the, the, the ring marks defended pretty well. Uh, same with the territory, kind of sort of flipped uh, you know, from one half to the other. Five tries to one. Uh, the box ran more meters. The All Blacks had more defenders beaten, a lot more, 38. But uh, the box had more uh, um, clean breaks. Far more pass from New Zealand, as you expect, as well as gain line carries, more offloads. But the box was six turnovers won. Uh, Malcolm Marks getting involved. Uh, Joey Pimini getting involved. Quaker Smith getting involved there. Uh, 26 kicks from hand from South Africa. But let's look at the set pieces, shall we? Tackle success rate for the for uh, South Africa: 90 out of 135 at 73%, 80% from the from the from the All Blacks. All Blacks were one from two from kicks. Moyni Bok was five from five. Absolutely flawless off the tee. Exactly the confidence boost he needed. The ruck success: 94%, 95%. Lineout success: We lost two lineouts. New Zealand lost five, or rather, we stole five lineouts. Um, uh, which was really, really good. And scrums, I thought the scrums were really good as well. Yes, the All Blacks actually says an 8 out of 9, but we absolutely dominated the scrums. Uh, Discipline-wise, we could see it 10 penalties to their 14, um, which was not good from New Zealand. Two yellow cards for New Zealand. I'm just watching the post-match thing, and, and Pierre Khaleesi cannot even get a word out because of the amount of applause. It's actually goosebumps stuff to, to look at that performance, to see the appreciation and what it means to everybody that went there. Let's talk about the individuals, shall we? And it's quite simple. Stephen Kitsop, brilliant. Malcolm Marks, brilliant. Francois Herbert, so solid. Even Hetzebeth, looked back to his best. Franklin Mostert, I thought was absolutely brilliant. Seven tackles around the park, got up there. Elana Steele, Tia Khaleesi, absolutely everywhere. Pierce Dev for 20 with a from the yellow card. 17 tackles he made. Dwayne Vermeulen looking like Dwayne Vermeulen of old. Fafta Klerk was, was, I thought, actually really pretty good today. Uh, Mike Leibach didn't put a foot wrong. Michael Zolom Pimpy tried hard, worked hard. Kurt Lawrence looked electric. Kane and Moody and uh, Andre Estes combined well. Moody just the one mistake, really. 
from him. Andre Este has made 10 tackles, by the way, missing just one. Damien Billings got the man of the match from him. And, uh, and then the bench was also absolutely brilliant. It was just dominant from, from the start to the beginning. Uh, start to the beginning. Start to end. Uh, it's been a long night. I just cannot actually remember the last time we just looked so good. So, massive, massive result for the box. Really, really cool. Let me know what you thought about the performance down in the comments below. We'll have more time to dissect that, but that's a huge confidence boost to going into the World Cup. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you soon.